Hello, welcome to Liago Tipless Travel Finishing. This project is finished, and this is the homeowner Dan. So uh, I invited Dan to say something for people who are testing the tipping mat, and for those people uh, who are going to test the tipless travel finishing. This may give them more confidence. So, are you happy with the result? I first impressions. I am very happy with the result. We have had a few challenges along the way with some really large gaps that we were trying yeah. to deal with, yeah. and regular mud wouldn't have been able to do that. Mm -hmm. And we have a very good, solid end result. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So this basement. Actually, uh, uh, I was falling in love with this basement <laughs> when I uh, first came and I looked around and I said, this is just perfect for uh, tipless drywall finishing. So for, with those big gaps, the uh, loose boards, mm -hmm. it was pretty challenging. And I was amazed for uh, half the result mm -hmm. turned out. Yeah, no, it looks awesome, like the end result. We have one coat of primer on right now, and you can't tell that there's any fibers inside of the material. Uh -huh. And the finished coat just looks awesome. Mm -hmm. So were you uh, nervous about I didn't use tape to finish your basement? Uh, not nervous, no. So for me, the concept actually makes a lot of sense. Uh -huh. Being a process engineer, after you explain to me kind of how you design and develop the product, to me, it reminds me very similar to any sort of re fiber reinforcement work that we do. So mm -hmm. even body work on vehicles, that's fibers with a gel and then mm -hmm. the aviation business. So it's a, an old concept in the sense of putting a fiber in a material, but a new concept for drywalling. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So uh, actually fiber reinforcement, it's not a new idea. We practice fiber reinforcement for thousands of years, especially uh, in building materials. It works really good, eh? Yep, yeah, yeah. It's been tried and tested everywhere. Now it's just new in the drywall industry. Uh -huh. So I want to uh, thank you for giving me this opportunity uh, to try the tip in mud in some extreme conditions. conditions yep, I agree and with that one. I think you know uh, the tipless can work in in a condition like this. Mm -hmm. Then it should work in any condition. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. And I do think that it's probably easier for a homeowner or a do-it-yourselfer as well in order to do yeah, a job absolutely. like that. Just seeing how you were doing it, it seemed yeah. easier yeah. in that sense. So uh, we're not applying the paper tape, so you can just apply mud to the joint. So as long as you can handle a party knife, mm -hmm. then the job can be done. Yeah. So have some fun and save some money. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, well, thank you very much. So, um, no, thank you. Yeah, and thank you for your confidence and thank you for giving me this opportunity. No problem. Thank you. Well, I think we're done. Good.